So the dedication is really the key on everything, everything in in world and everything you do in life is dedication. It's the discipline of every day coming back again. It's what I like to call the punch the clock. You got to punch the clock. Grind is, is a key for success of every day. The discipline is the key of success. My first connection with martial arts itself was I was four years old. I was starting judo. My, my father actually had, had trained in judo before, so he put me in judo. And I stayed in judo for quite a while. It's like almost like a 10 years old. And I remember competing a lot in judo. That was my first connection with martial arts. After that, I went straight to, to taekwondo. That I thought I, I liked some of the striking and too. I figured it out that, you know, the short leg, it, 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 like a, a trunk tree, it would never put the foot in nobody's head. So I figured it out that Taekwondo was not my thing. And I started surfing, but I always was really, I think I'm the only Brazilian guy who was really not connected to soccer. I would never was a big fan of soccer. I always was a big fan of almost like individual sports. I don't even know why, but I always liked the fights. You know, even for the Olympic Games, I was watching wrestling and judo. And that's always was appealing to me. When I was 15 years old, 14 to 15 years old, my first girlfriend, I, I went to a bar in her house, and her, her uncle was Rosado, who was a red belt from Carson Reed. And he saw me, a little, you know, short, stucky kid, and, and he decided to invite me to go to Carson Grace. And I said, hey, you look, look like you need some jiu-jitsu, come over here. And I didn't even know what a jiu-jitsu was. And at the time, it was, it was a small, this is, was 80, I don't even know, 80, 80, Four, five, stuff like this. Nobody really actually doing any jujitsu at the time, or doing it some jujitsu, but in a generation that was more concentrated in a south zone of Rio, the Janeiro. And it's for sure it wasn't as it is today. But I started was like 15 years old, and it was just a fit. It was as it was it was perfect for me. In so many different levels, I found myself in jujitsu, and then all my friends, I. Uh, I, I worked a lot at, at the bank, I went to college, but I just really have memories of, of my friends at Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu was absolutely everything that I take as, as an in. It, it fits in perfectly. Almost like I found a, a place that I, that I belong. With the environment, with the philosophy, you know, with the activity, everything. I was like, this is for me. I don't conflict new generation with the old generations, new school, the old school. It's, it's all jujitsu. It's an evolution of the sport itself. So the only thing that I believe that it, it, it bothers me is, is for the fact that sometimes you're just so concentrated on, on a sport jujitsu that you forget the self-defense part of jujitsu. I'm not talking about self-defense, self-defense curriculum. I'm talking about you, you have to learn to take down if you really want to do self-defense, if you want to defend yourself or fight MMA, you, you should, you should learn a takedown, you know, because the best position for me, and I've been involved in MMA for a long time as a coach, it's a, and you have to, the best position in Jiu-Jitsu, in MMA, for example, or in a, or in a fight, is when you're on top. 
Because all the arts don't use the same way. We on top of somebody, we know how to pass the guard, take the back, go to the mountain. It's while some of the people won't, you know? And we use this way better than other people. And, and, and at the car itself, there's so much that you can do from the guard. But if somebody knows the minimum how to defend it and avoid it, it's much easier not to get caught. So I don't think people should skip the real self-defense part of jiu-jitsu. People are saying jiu-jitsu as it is right now, which it is. Jiu-jitsu is the new yoga. Jiu-jitsu is the yoga for the tough guy. That's what it is. You know, you use all, all the parts of jiu-jitsu as, as, as philosophically and, and mentally, spiritually, and recreational, everything. This is the new yoga for tough people. You know, that can handle, not just the pressure, but handle to put the gear on it and learn with it. But it's a game. And the benefits are the same. But you can never forget that this is also learning a martial arts and learning, learning a real self-defense. So learn takedowns, learn all the tools that you just are bringing in. Everything, that's my recommendation. About new school and old school, none of them should skip fundamentals. You can't do whatever it is. You can't do a berimbolo without grips. You, you need something. You need to understand the step-by-step -step of how it works. This is for old or new school, for jiu-jitsu itself. But as long as it's going, man, it's, it's the beauty of this. I wanted the sport to be practiced everywhere. That's, that's what the dream of what everybody should be. Deal with high level or high performance athletes, it's, 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 it's very intriguing. There's a couple requirements, Marin. Their number one requirement that I see it is, is how committed the person is. Because it's really not just about the talent. It's so far away to be about the talent. You know, the commitment of everyday basis, what we call the grind. The grind is way worse than the real talent. Way worse. And you can win with talent not training, go compete. But I know a lot of guys that go there and compete, but the grind builds up the real athlete. You, you see a lot is this. We go to high level performance until you build up a game, right? Let's say you, you go to a certain level of jiu-jitsu and you're so good at it. And you know that after that, it's, it's a lot to do with conditioning. To get ready for fight, to create a periodization and of course, you're always going to be learning and, and updating your game. But once you build up the game, real the game, everything else is conditioning, timing and everything else. But up from here to build up the game that you feel like you can do it with your eyes closed, it's grind. It's every day. Even if you're very athletic, very strong, very explosive, none of this surpass discipline. None of this. I talk to a lot of my guys about the vision. What's your vision? Where you want it to go? And and try to get short goals every time. You let's let's go from here to here, right? Let's 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 learn this striking part. Let's learn whatever you have to learn to, to compose your game and to a point. But from here to here, there's a goal. There's you know, what is the vision, right? What's the end goal that you have to do? And yeah, I want to. Rich, yeah, I want to be rich. That guy want to be rich. That guy want to be famous. That guy that just wanted to, I don't know, hook up a girl. There, there are so many different, different interests and different goals and different visions how to get there. But you have to have a comprehensive plan, and you have to grind, and you have to learn, and you have to be humble enough to step in and and to accept the process. If I want to look at the future for Jiu-Jitsu and, and, and MMA, I, I got to go to places that have done something extraordinary. And I will be looking at, at UAE as my first stop. I think UAE is now the capital, the capital of the world of the industry of Jiu-Jitsu. The industry of Jiu-Jitsu is here. It's here. The benchmark with the jiu-jitsu community created over here in this country 
it's, it's, it's unparalleled to the whole entire world. And I travel a lot. You know, I travel a lot, not just for the technique, but I travel a lot not for the competition. I travel a lot because I'm helping people in, in the private, you know, in the private industry to to raise the bar to be sustainable with the business systems for schools, for martial arts schools in general. So what I see it here is for me is like a, 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 a university. When I see public sports, I see public sports at Harvard of Jiu Jitsu. That people are going to be learning and learning and researching and doing absolutely everything to raise the bar in all the angles of the sport. Not just Jiu Jitsu itself, but martial arts. Palm Sports is raising the bar for martial arts itself, not just the Jiu Jitsu. And, and it, it's just unparalleled. Saying that all over the world, Jiu Jitsu is a growing, extremely growing. I can't even say that it's just a sport. It's just, it's just a philosophy. Jiu Jitsu, like I said, is, is the new yoga. Jiu Jitsu is seen as not just a martial arts, but it, it, it's like a game. You come to the school to, to game with your friends, to train. And in the moment that you learn the rules and you compete a little bit there, and you use this as recreational, is a workout that in the, in the same time you're learning and you're being great. And you're being, you, you certifying yourself to be, you know, a career as, as when you get your black belt and you know all the fundamentals. So it, it's way better than running a treadmill, in my opinion. You learn a treadmill, you're gonna lose weight, you're gonna get a workout, but you're not gonna learn. You're not gonna certify yourself and, and, and get a diploma that probably is gonna be more important than your actually college degree. All of this counts. And, and when you learn the systems of how to be sustainable with the industry of jiu-jitsu, you know, the systems of, of, of a marketing and sales and curriculums and retention, and you're able to open up the school and you be, and you, and you provide to your family and you help people, help tons of people. From, from three years old to nine years old, you're gonna be able to help people with that. So, I had many times I've been offered to work in different industries. But my passion for the sport itself is just, and I see so much in our industry. I see that we can help and change so many lives. Not just change lives, I, I, I really see the and I know that for a fact, it was not just changing, it was saving lives. I had people that calling me there was about to shoot their seven ahead, you know, from, from so many hurt that they had it. And Jiu Jitsu was absolutely everything to save that life at that moment. And it happened, I keep, I've even more than one story about this. So the growing of the sport with the right character education, with the right system, it's just unparalleled, you know. We're we're way behind on the ball what why the traditional martial arts has and and in certain systems. But we are the martial arts. We are the future of martial arts. Jiu Jitsu is the future of martial arts. Jiu Jitsu today is what Bruce Lee was in the seventies. So we're just gonna grow. Nobody's gonna stop us especially if we organize ourselves and, and we all have one common last name, Jiu-Jitsu. Forget about the, the personal interest and let's fight for the, for the whole sport. And everybody get together, can't go wrong with that. The product's too good. So for whoever's watching right now, make your decisions and, and never, never, never doubt your capabilities. Never doubt that Jiu-Jitsu can give you a better life. You know, in any shape, form, or 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 branch, I'm telling you this: jujitsu, jujitsu is life itself. You know, that's it. <laughs>